college football recruiting to me is one of the more entertaining things in all of sports. You went through it being recruited. All I've gotten to hear are stories and, you know, have have talked to people who have been through the process and it's basically the new like NIL and all that stuff. Like a lot of this stuff was going on. It just was sort of hush hush. Okay. Like everybody sort of had the understanding, right? That there was uh yeah, listen, people are going to maybe cut some corners and do some things to try and steer a player in one direction or another. Like that that's, that's the vibe that I've gotten and talking to enough people that, you know, NIL was there you know, you just couldn't really say it out loud. Is that fair to say? Um, absolutely. You have to protect. Uh, you have to protect things. You know, truths, the value of relationships, the integrity of relationships. Yes, that so, would be true. Yeah. So the reason why I bring that up is okay. because Trent Dilfer, who is the new coach at UAB, okay, he uh, had some strong words. You know, wanted to flex a little bit. He was on the Rick and Bubba University podcast a couple of days ago and was talking about recruiting and now that he's at UAB and obviously he had the very successful high school program in Tennessee, but now he's gone on to college football and he's now a brand new head coach, but he wanted to let people know when it comes to the recruiting game, he's not messing around. By the way, come try to get my guys. Right. Like, huh, I dare you, Power <laughs> Fives. I got a pretty pretty big platform that I can step on. Yeah. And if I find you in my kids' DMs, and if I find you talking to high school coaches about my kids, if you're in my roster, I'm going to call your ass out. <laughs> I'm going to say it by name to the biggest voices in television today, and it's going to make game day, and it's going to make Sports Center. And it's going to make, because by the way, those guys running Sports Center are still my friends. That's right. I still got their So sale. go <laughs> ahead. I dare you to jump into my roster. So there's Trent Dilfer. Let he it be sounds known. like a moron. <laughs> Come on, he's laying the law down. I dare you. <laughs> like, bruh. I, okay, let 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 me sit back up for this one because I was in chill mode. But let me let me sit up. I was just in state college, all right. And part of the reason why I was in state college is because this whole sweeping phenomenon of what the NIL has created for college athletics is crazy. Let's just be clear here. If you think that it's just a coat, first of all, let's look at it from this perspective because Power Fives are not only going after UABs, they're going after other Power Fives. Then you're talking about disgruntled, you know, spoiled-ass players. So they don't want to go through the process of making it back on the field anymore. They're four-star, five-star guys. They'll If they don't play immediately, they'll enter the transfer portal. More often than not, when you're getting recruited out of high school, when these kids are looking to jump into the transfer portals, they're jumping into the transfer portals because they're already in communication with a coach that recruited them out of high school. So it's not about them jumping in your kid's DM, dumbass. It's about your kids not liking you more often than not and reaching out to a coach that recruited them. You can jump. There are thousands of players that are in the transfer portal that will not get a a place to go play. They will not be they will not be picked up. But for like top players that are at other programs, if they have the opportunity to be able to go to another school, it's generally because they have a relationship with a coach that's on the staff that was previous to what's going on. So it's not all about like everybody's turned this whole thing into jumping into DMs and this, that, and the other. Recruiters have enough going on, especially Power 5 recruiters. They have so much going on that generally if you check out these these Twitters, I challenge you to go on the Twitter. You can't message coaches anymore. You can't message them. It's like the the feature is disabled. You can't comment. You can't you can't you can't leave messages like pri- private personal messages on their twitters because this whole thing has gotten so crazy and out of hand. More often than not, it's parents 
that are are trying to broker these situations and create these opportunities. And I'm going to tell you right now, if if Trent Dilfer or any other guy has a player that is showing tremendous ability and tremendous growth as a as as a football player on his team and is showing the ability to to change games, he may get he may get pinpointed and and you know why? Because they know that these types of guys may be looking for another opportunity to play at a higher level. And why wouldn't they be? So to put that out there, that's just like you're you're chest thumping for no reason. It's a it's a chest thump for no reason. High schools do it. High schools definitely do it. High schools jump into players' DMs. Player uh, coaches get butt hurt. They start trying to call it out. Get out of my kids' DMs. High school is is fairly in a lot of ways. It's fairly different than college. It's fairly different. In high school, you're you're talking about you know it's just it's just different because you have you have recruiting in college. You don't have rec- you have recruiting in high school, but it's not supposed to be the way. You, you're not supposed to be able to get somebody to your school through through uh, influence, like what is it called? Something just influence or whatever. Anyway, it it makes absolutely very little sense to be sitting there talking about you'll get called out and you'll get – like do you think that Power 5 co- – like, oh, Nick Saban's in one of your kids' DMs. Like, no, dummy. Nick Saban, n- not even Nick Saban's defensive coordinator or offensive coordinator. Like, do you realize that there are, like, people out here that are professional recruiters? Like, it's so sophisticated. And if, if you're not as sophisticated, if you're no more sophisticated than that, Trent, you need to have somebody bring you up to speed on what's going on because there are people out here that their entire job as just normal civilians walking around in different places to find talent and they deliver that talent and they get paid for it. Like you don't, they have no real affiliations. They're just recruiters, but they don't, they are, or scouts. They don't, they don't, you don't, they don't work for a school. They don't have an affiliation. They could deliver a kid and kids to several different schools so the 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 process of how you get a kid and how you extract kids and different things like that, it's not as simple as being able to say, I'm gonna call you out for being in their inbox. Who? Who? Who are you looking at? Who are you calling out? So if that kid is is about because here's the thing with the transfer portal, you don't have to tell your coach anything. You can you can what is it called? Disenroll or de enroll? You can you can leave the school and enter the transfer portal without even having to have a conversation with your head coach anymore. So the rules have changed so vastly in terms of transferring that the stuff that they're talking about, man, like, please. You know, the, the part. So when, when he's talking about, I, I I dare you to jump in DMS. I dare you to, first of all, it takes two to have a conversation. So it's not like, you know, like like the idea that you're just going to like that's going to stop any of this stuff from happening. The other part of this, too, is if if you're in a relationship and your better half comes home and she's telling you or he's telling you a story about, hey, so and so keeps hitting me up. They keep sliding into my diet into my DMs. I You know, I, I can't tell what's going on here. I don't know why this is happening. There are two questions you should ask. Number one, who are they? And number two, why would they feel like they would be comfortable enough to jump in those DMs? Well, my third question would be, what did you say? Yes, <laughs> like that too. What did you say? Yeah, and and do they have friends? But the whole like you the whole point. But the, the whole point is, you can't like you can't stop people from having conversations. And if one of these players is in practice and gets pissed off because Trent Dilfer airs him out publicly or airs him out and embarrasses him. And you and Brady Quinn have talked about this. It's a different day and age to where you can't coach players as hard as you used to because they get their feelings hurt and then they're going to complain about it. And they're going to go to social media or go vent somewhere to somebody or want to go home or want to transfer. Like if you're one of these players and you're at UAB Man, if Nick Saban or somebody from Alabama hits you up at some point, I'm not saying this would happen. I'm You're just going. saying 100%. You're going. 
Like, so the idea that, oh, well, you know, I dare you to slide into my DMs. I'll just go uh, on national television. Man, Nick Saban got aired out by Jimbo Fisher last year after he called him out for NIL. And the first thing Jimbo Fisher did was say, I got dirt on you. And Nick Saban, a week and a half ago, did the same thing again. Hey, bro, you're not even playing in, in, in the ocean. You're not even in an in-ground pool. You're not even in a, an above-ground pool. You're playing in like one of them pools. You go to Toys R Us and and you get oh, in the yeah, box yeah. and then you you fill it up with yep. with from your hose water. That's the pool he's playing in. I got one at of those. UAB. Yeah, my son loves it. It's great. Like, be clear. Like what? Like your first mistake is sitting there acting like that's a big deal. Get your players. Try to build your program and do what you need to do. Because here's the thing: first mistake is sitting there talking about my players. Like. Hell, you mean my players? What do you mean? This is the NIL era. What do you mean my players? Like my players? You don't own them. <laughs> Show me an ownership tag. <laughs> you own them? What do you mean your players? <laughs> like you on borrowed time, just like anybody else, just like Nick Saban is, and his get his kids get recruited away, just like smart. His kids get recruited away. I watched plenty of kids leave into the portal from Penn State. It's been a big topic of conversation. And for what it's worth, it's the money that's talking. It ain't the it ain't the coaches. Come here. You'll get you'll we'll get you a Mercedes. We'll get you, we'll give you 150000 in cash. We'll do this. Parents are seeing this, and the parents is like, you ain't making no money here. Like you at UAB, child, and you're you're balling. You ain't making no money here, so he better put his money where his mouth is if he want to call them my players and don't come jumping in my players' DMs and this and that and the other. And for what is worth, for what is worth, like my whole thing is, um, you're not going through my DMs, coach. Like you ain't my daddy, and you ain't my mama either. So who exactly with your players, who are showing you their DMs? Now, if you get a kid that's like he buys into that, yeah, that's my coach. And he wants to show you, like you said, you come home, I show you the DM. Yeah, you know, coach. And, and maybe they may even be using that as like a negotiation ploy. Maybe that's, you know. Just so you know. You know, they offer me this. I got this. options. I got options. Yeah. You know, I get that. But, I mean. Are you re- like? Are you really just trying to? Is this a ploy? Or are you just trying to bring attention? You're at UAB, bro. You're he, at UAB. He went on like he was saying that he's not interested in any other jobs. He doesn't want to be anywhere else. Okay, he, he doesn't good. care if he gets blackballed anywhere. And and it, it's like, look, all, all that okay. is, is fine and well. Like I, so let me throw a what if scenario at you as a player, as somebody who was was at the highest level. Because you've talked about not being happy early on at Penn State, yep. and and looked and looked, at, I looked at Pitt. Yeah. I was about to transfer. So UAB is at Georgia this year in yeah. uh, in late September. Yep. So if you're a player and you're kind of unhappy, and you get to Georgia and you're in Athens and you're looking around and you're going, "Damn, this is the national champions. This is the." And maybe like uh, an assistant coach or somebody says, "Hey, you know, you know, great game." I know you go entertain it. Yeah, like like all of a sudden you're just it almost like I don't want to say it's a recruiting trip for Georgia, but I just think the idea that you're going to be able to keep that many players focused on just UAB and not entertain or not look elsewhere, like that's to me, not the culture it's, it's we naive. live in, and yeah. that's and that's the thing, right? And that's. You know, I'm sitting here talking aggressive, but I'm just saying I think it's silly to sit there and say stuff like that because it's more of the kids and the families than it is the universities. So what what you should have said, what you should have said is we're working to create an environment and a place where the kids that decide to come play for UAB want to play for UAB and want to stay at UAB. Right. That's what he should have said. Is ain't nobody like it's like is a is a fly going to be able to bring a horse down? Like that's that's the equivalent of Trent Dilfer saying what he said. Like, are you really you're gonna be an irritant 
to to a horse. You're not going to be a, a detriment. You're not going to. You're not a real danger. Trent Dilfer is not a real danger. You're not. Trent Dilfer is not taking players that those schools would would get out of high school. So even if you got a commitment from one of these kids to go to UAB, say you get a kid that says, "I'm going to UAB." They offered me. I'm gonna make a verbal commitment. If if Trent Dilfer is saying that that's my guy. And don't you – he's still fair game. 